Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Cricket and this is Top 7 Medium Tractors. Continuation of the last one and I got one honorable mention at the end. So, we'll get right into it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start off with the Deutzfar TTV 7 series by STV Modding. Um, it's probably one of my favorite Deutzes, honestly. The look, the sound, everything. Um, as you can see I've got a green version run in Michelin's I think Midas and the black one's got some Michelin's on it we'll take a quick look at it in the store right here 182,000 uh, rim color you've got all the colors main color is the um, the grading I'll show you real quick see how that changed to silver you change it to gold and then your design color is your main color, so they're kind of named wrong, but it's fine. Um, then we've got Trelleborgs, Michelin, Midas, Nokians, Trelleborg. We have standard wheel weights, which I'm not seeing weights, but hey. These actually look like those wide ones on the Agritron from the last video. Then you got wide tires, wide tires and weights, rear twins, twins all the way around, back to standard, Michelin, you've got regular uh, Axio bibs, and these I think are the Mach X bibs, and then wide tires and weights which get even wider and uh, more aggressive uh, tread in the front, and then narrows, and then back to standard, Midas, you've got standard, wides, and that's it for Midas. Nokians, your normal communals. They have them listed as narrows, but um, then interior design is obviously interior. Uh, chrome, they say gold. It looks more gray, black, and kind of silver to me. And that one says chrome, but that looks more gold. So maybe things are misnamed, or maybe it's, I, I don't know. Because even that, that they put around the uh, exhaust says gold, but it's chrome. So, I don't know. Um, design standard, you got LED pack 1, LED pack 2, um, and then back to standard. Engine setup, you have uh, 7210 is 224, 7230 is 245, 7250 is 263. And then the TTV war, uh, 7250 Warrior um, is still 263, but it adds the Warrior logo. I'm actually going to change this because it's blinding. Um, adds the Warrior logos and all that stuff. Um, and then front loader attacher. So, it's a great mod. Um, I've, I've used it in uh, one of my Let's Plays turned live stream series. Um, the visibility is great. I love the way it sounds. Lighting, beacons, um, and then of course you've got opening back window, opening door, opening sunroof. some articulation, which I always like to see. If you saw my last video, you'll know. Um, but yeah, I love this tractor. Um, it's got good horsepower. It looks good. Sounds good. Good visibility. Um, front loader attachment on an almost 300 horsepower tractor. Um, the only thing and I had stated this in the last video, uh, this is a mod by STV Modding, which, again, nothing against the modder. It's just some people map the but, uh, the things to different buttons, so if you are have a side panel, you move the joystick, moves doors and stuff, and your windows. So, I mean, you can control it all, but you can't use the front loader with the joystick. So, the only downside, but other than that, it's a spectacular mod. 
Alright, so that's number one. And all right, let's go on to number two. Now, for all those who think I hate John Deere, I actually have a couple different mods in here that I would say are my favorites. The first one is the 7030 Premium Series by Black Eyes Modding. It's this bad boy right here. I know there's a few different versions in the mod hub right now. You got like a 6030, something else, and this is the 7030. Um, openable back window, openable door. Let's go into the mod hub and I'll show it off real quick. Um, this does have a regular and a gear shift version. So configuration, you've got weights in the front all the way up to 1010 and then a front hydraulic. Trelleborg Michelin, those are your only options but there's plenty of options in there. So you've got your standards, your wides, your narrows. Rear twins, twins all the way around. Wheel weights, wides and weights, and then back to standard. In Michelin, you got standard and twins. That's it. But those right there look fantastic anyway. Um, design uh, without front fenders, with front fenders. And then your. Uh, this is one of those that when you go into the menu, it shows you the max horsepower even when you're on the base model. Um, and the numbers do change on the hood, uh, but you get the 7130, which is 151, 7230, 161, 7330, 185, 7430, 196, and 7530 at 209 horsepower. So good horsepower for a mid-range tractor. Um, and then, of course, like I stated before, you know, you've got your front three-point, you've got your front loader options. So very versatile. Um, and covers your beacons left right or both and then again like I said the front loader attacher so and it's not too expensive really so let's start her up I know I'm driving around with the doors open but you can hear that gear shift sound little articulation to it. Yeah, a little bit. But the thing, I don't know what it is about this particular design, um, but I just, I love this uh, back window. I love the way it like recesses in there. That's like my favorite part of this mod, <laughs> of this tractor in general. Just I love that way that back window just kind of recesses in there, and the body lines of it. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, like I said, so I do actually like a couple of John Deere's for those who think I'm a hater. Um, and then I get this one with the rear twins. I mean, granted, it's it's a you know. There's not a ton of customization because most of your John Deere stuff is, you know, just the green with the yellow and whatnot. But like I said, it is a versatile tractor, decent horsepower, not too expensive, and you got some little options you can play with. All right, so that is that one. And the next to last John Deere mod that I actually like is the 6M series by Blau or Blue Wagon Modding. I, I don't know what to call them. Um, but he makes some great, great mods. So basically, this comes in a pack of three. Um, most of you probably already know this, because there's also a 6R series that he did. Um, I prefer the 6M, because it's got that same kind of recessed back window. But it comes with a small version, medium version, and large version. Now the options are all the same, except for the motor. Um, your rim color can be yellow, black, orange, silver, beige. Main color, green, black, orange, silver, beige. And design color, yellow, green, black, orange, silver, beige. Then your configurations are weights, which go up to, I'm going to go backwards, so it doesn't take as long. You get the front hydraulic option and 1010 kilogram front weight. 
Um, so you got Trelleborgs, Michelins, and that's it. Trelleborgs, you got regular standards, weights, wides, wides and weights, rear twins, twins all the way around, narrows, narrow twins all the way around, which is nice to see. That's always cool. You don't see that too, too often. Um, and then Michelins, you got your standard weights in the rear, wides, wides and weights, rear twins, twins all the way around, back to standard. And that's basically it for your tires. Um, Starfire, obviously it doesn't do anything on console, but if you want it there, and it puts a little screen it looks like over there too, so. That's completely up to you whether you want it. Beacon lights, left, right, both. Engine setup, okay, and this is where it differs. The small version, 144 is your base, 6130M. 6140M is 155, and that's it. So you've got 144 to 155. And then a 100 year decal if you want. Medium, again, all the options are the same. Um, I think the tires obviously are a little bigger, but as you can see, basically, they're all the same. Um, so you got 6145 at 161, 6155 at 172, and those are your two options for the mid-range. And then the large, 6175 is 194, and 6195 is 216, and that's as high as she goes. But you can have a 216 horsepower John Deere if you want. Like I said, I love that recessed window. Um... But yeah, so those are the options. Um, let's get in it. The only thing that kind of disappoints me, and, and I've noticed this with some mods, um, this used to have opening rear window, and I'm trying to remember if the door and or sunroof opened, um, but um, he updated it and added simple IC, which is great for PC players, but it took out the ability to open that stuff for console players. So, kind of disappointing. I only know that because I was running one of these on Riverbird, and after the update, it wasn't able to be opened anymore. A uh, little bit of articulation. I think it's also because I got duels on this, so it's a little harder to move everything. Um, lights. Beacons. Horn. It's a great mod. I like the fact that you can change color, especially with the black and yellow. Looks really well. Um, let's turn that off. I can't remember if I did the lights and stuff on this, so I'm going to do that real quick. Because I jump around a lot and I'm trying to get through everything. Just so it's not another hour long video. So, lights, beacons, horn. And I don't remember if I did the horn on this one. Back to focus. All right, I'm trying to remember which one's next. All right, Fiat Agri 180 90. This is one of my favorite medium tractors, and I've used this one so many times. Um, I really like the Fiat Agri. This one I actually started using in FS17, um, and I used it a ton on. I can't think of the map. <coughs> It's a map by Alien Jim. It's off oh, of the life of me. I can't remember it. It'll come to me. Mercury Farms. There we go. See? Told you it'd come to me. Um, and I started using this on Mercury Farms back then, and I loved it, uh, mainly for the look and the sound and everything. The only difference is I'm pretty sure you could get duels on that one, whereas you can't on this particular mod. Now, there are this one is by Pepe978. There's actually two different ones of these in the mod hub. The other one I think is called the 180 series. But this one, I'll show you in here real quick. 33,500. Super cheap. Especially for a 180 horsepower tractor. Um, so configuration is you've got um, rear mud guards. Front weight, weight and rear mud guards, 900 weight, rear mud guards, front linkage, and then back to standard. Um, design, 
Gives you hydraulic pistons in the back versus standard. And then you've got a forester cage if you want. Uh, wheel setup. And he just did an update on this. I think it was like four or five months ago, maybe six months ago. And he added uh, super wide tires. Because um, before all you had was the variable and the variable total. Yep. And then variable rear wide tires, variable total wide tires. And then he added the big XL tires not too long ago in an update, which I think look fantastic on this thing. It's nice to have another option. Um, you get short pre-filter, long pre-filter, short pre-filter with a straight pipe, sh and then back to short pre-filter. Uh, beacon lights left, right, both, off, front loader, yes and no. And that's basically it. It's, it's a pretty stripped down, simple vehicle. Um, but like I said, it's got the front lifter, front three point, and uh, the other version in the mod hub does not have the option for a front lifter or a front three point. So it's basically just similar to this, just only rear three point. That's the main reason. And this one sounds amazing. Um, I will warn you, it's going to be loud. So I'm going to start it up so you can hear it, but I'm not going to drive it around too much. Now this one doesn't have any, you have the door that you can open with open closed cover, um, but you can't open any windows or anything like that. Um, and obviously when you get in and out, the door opens and closes, which is cool. Um, like I said, versatile tractor, super, super cheap, 30, 33 grand base. And uh, like I said, you can do a lot with it. Um, this thing will pull that lizard six meter plow that everybody uses. Um, as long as you're not going steep up a hill, it'll do it no problem. So yeah, Fiat Agri 18090 by Pepe978. Amazing mod, I love it. Alright, I think we're on to... Yep. Okay, this is the JCB Fast Track 3200 Extra by Casarius Modding. Um, I love the JCBs in general, the way they look and everything. Um, and then they started coming out with the modded versions where you can actually do stuff with them and, and you get better tire options and change colors and all that stuff. So we will look at that one first. 3200 right there. Okay. So main color, anything. You want a blue one? Go with blue. Rim color, again, anything. Blue and gray? Go for it. Um, and here's where it gets pretty cool. You got Trelleborgs. Michelin, Nokian, Midas. Trelleborg standard, wide, wide and weight, communal. Twins, narrows, and back to standard. Michelin, you got standards, wides, wide and weights, and back to standard. Nokian's communal, wides, and Midas, standard, and wides. So, a decent amount of tire options, nothing, you know, off the wall, but. For this particular mod, um, I really love the way it looks. Um, it's kind of that mid-tier, you know, it's not the base game one, but it's not as old as the one in that other pack, um, which I like. Um, I wish you could get it by itself, though. Um, so, interior design, you got standard, which is black, gray, and leather. And then design, top, gives you extensions, which are basically light bar, Beacons, more lights, beacons, different beacon spot, beacons in the rear, and that's it for that. And then engine setup, 195 for the 3200 extra, 3230 is 230 horsepower. So a couple options, it's not as powerful as the base game, I think it's the 4220, but it's a good mid-range tractor and it goes 43 miles an hour, so you can't go wrong. And it's not super expensive either. Um, so check it out here. Again, you have opening door, oh, opening door, and opening rear window. Like I said, it's got that more kind of squared off, edged 
look as opposed to the more aerodynamic kind of new ones plus the lighting's in the front on the bumper. But the lighting is really good. You got the quad steer and of course you can, as with most quad steer vehicles, you can actually um, change the steering mode to front wheel, crab, and then all wheel steering. Uh, beacons. Like I said, with that 43 miles an hour, got some articulation to it. I love the articulation, it just makes it look so much better when it, like, you're doing hills or on edges and stuff, and you hit a bump and it doesn't make the whole entire tractor jump. So, again, that's JCB 3220 by Caserius Modding. Ah, uh, sorry, 3200 Extra. Um, great little mod very versatile. doesn't have a front loader, but other than that, it's, it's definitely a good mod. Alright, next to last, we've got the Case IH Puma CVX with tracks. A lot of people know what this is. <coughs> um, I know this is one of Driver 53's favorite uh, tractors, and I don't blame him because it's a fantastic tractor. Alright, so, we have it here. Uh, rim color, anything, and it does actually change the wheels on this. Unlike a lot of your tracked vehicles with color selection, you usually can't change the actual colors of the wheels on the tracks. Um, oh yes, and this is by Jens Edgevinson. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, and then your main color, again, anything. You want to make it, you really want to piss off case people, bam, it's a John Deere case. <laughs> um, a design color, I'm trying to remember what that was. Oh, that's the bars. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize that. Alright, so those are the uh, kind of support shields for the upper wheel. Alright, so you got your tracks. Then you got your Michelins. You got uh, Max Mach X Bib Super Wides. And I love the Super Wides. So this is a perfect mod. You got your super wides and you got your tracks. And you got trailer borgs, standard wheel weights, narrows, narrow twins, another nice setup. Wides, wides and weights, rear twins, twins all the way around, back to standard. And then no gins, just communal. Um, implement terminal. These are little terminals that go hang on that bar on the passenger side. Uh, Amazon, Horsch, Crone. Coon, Vaderstad, Hardy, Grimmy. Same thing here. So you can have a couple different ones. Um, of course, on console, I don't think they do anything. I'm not sure if they do anything on PC. I think it's just more for look, whatever you want to do. Um, and then your engine setup 225. Uh, the Puma 200 is 245. The 240 is 270. And the 240 CVX tuned is 300 horsepower. So it's a 300 horsepower Puma. And you can have a front loader on it with tracks or super wide tires. It's fantastic. So, we will get in. I got the super wides on this one. Um, the only thing you can do on this one is it's got a little sunroof that opens. So, but uh, inside looks fantastic. You can see I got a couple of the uh, screens over here set up. Everything moves. You can see the whole tractor actually shifts. You know, wait, you can see the guy inside moving on the seat. The seat actually moving. Look at some articulation, because that's always important. Yes, she does. Um, I kind of wish the rear window would open, although it's not really a big deal. Um, but again, usually once you get up to that 300 horsepower or so, most of the tractors don't have the ability to have front loaders on them. Um, I mean, normally you have the three-point link, but so I love the fact that you can get that kind of horsepower out of this thing and still have, you know, a three-point and a front loader option. It's great stuff. 
a great mod. Good detail, good power, very useful. And as I said, that one's by Jens Edgevinson. Edgevinson. I know I'm probably butchering that. <coughs> Alright, so last but not least, definitely not least, is the JCB 4220 pack by HR Forst and Farzig Bow and Rick Black Label TWD modding. And I apologize to the first person in that list because I know I ruined that name. Um, so this one basically took the in-game, I think it's the in-game one, um, or it's a different generation, but this one is awesome because you've got the 4220 and you can do all kinds of stuff with it. It's even more uh, capable than the 3200. It's this one right here, 4220, rim color, anything. Anything you can think of. Main color, same thing. Sky's the limit. So wheel brands, you've got <coughs> Trelleborg, Michelin, Midas, Nokian, and Olof's all furs. <coughs> so Trelleborg, standard, wides, extra wides. Twins, narrows, and then fat tread wides, even bigger ones, and then you've got those ones that almost look like that Deutz we had, and then super wides of that. So tons of tire choices. Michelin, standard, wide, extra wide. Back to standard. Yeah, that's it for that. Midas, standard, wides, obviously. <laughs> Ridiculous, but awesome. And that's it for Midas, Nokian standard, and wide tires there. And then your Alice Phosphors, I can't say that. Uh, Pro Grip F and Pro Grip U. So different styles of chains. You can't change the color on the chains, um, but you'll see why there's chains in a minute. Design Fast Track. This is, they have a couple pre built color schemes if you want. Um, I like making my own color sets though. Uh, fender back, you can actually remove the back fenders on this one, or put them on. Um, I'm also going to change this back to Trelleborg for the moment. <coughs> so yeah, you can remove your fender, or put it back on. Uh, trailer hitches, standard, or you can actually put a gooseneck trailer hitch on this. So you can pull things, you got your three point, you got your normal trailer hitch, now you've got a gooseneck on there too. So you can pull gooseneck trailers, other implements, stuff like the, um, I'm trying to remember what the pack is, <sighs> a couple of the slurry spreaders that work with the Kloss equipment, you can actually use with this too. So, really good stuff. Um, I know I just tangented, sorry. It's going to bug me if I don't figure it out. The Kaweco Swan Neck. That works on this. Um, sorry, I know I went completely off base. Um, Alright, back to it real quick. Let's get back down to the last couple options. So you've got the trailer hitches, like I said, the, uh, the gooseneck. And then your engine setup. This thing is insane. 235 horsepower. So it's already 5 horsepower more powerful than the 3200 extra baseline. Then you go, stage 1 is 315, stage 2 is 398, so 398 horsepower out of a 4220. And we're not done yet. You can remove the front fender. Um, and if you put any of the really big wide tires on, or the chains, it will remove it for you. It'll still say yes, but you, it's not there. Um, and then front loader attacher. You can also have a front loader. So, awesome. And we're not done yet because in this pack there is another version, and this is what the chains are for. There is a fast track 4220 skitter version. 
So you get your rim color, all the colors, main color, all the colors. Design color is the crane. So gray, orange, whatever you want. And then all the options are the same as wheel brand and all that stuff. Um, and then design fast track. Oh, no, that's their stuff. Okay. Um, put a stage two on it. And uh, you've got yourself a skitter. A skitter tractor. Still has a front three point in the front and the three point in the back. Um, obviously the crane arm could get in the way a little bit. Um, so real quick, we're gonna look at the base one. You've got opening right door, opening left door, and back window. And in the top, that's the window. There we go. You can actually put this sunshade across the top. So, lights are ridiculous. Again, 40 miles an hour. The only thing I will say if it's, I'm pretty sure it's this one. If you get going too fast, oh, I think you fixed it. If you got going too fast when this thing first came out, it would kind of catch and like do a skid. All right, cool. Never mind that. Ignore that previous statement. And you get the same steering modes: all wheel, all wheel, and pendulum axle lock, front wheel front wheel and pendulum max lock back wheel crabs to your left crabs to your right all wheel I'm trying to remember what the pendulum max lock is I think it makes it so you don't uh, articulate I will check that right now because I don't actually remember I did know at one point but it's been a little while all right so articulation and then I think if we do Max lock. Yep. So it basically locks it so it won't articulate. Uh, maybe it's something for terrain. But kind of cool that you can turn that on and off. Um, and we'll go look at this guy real quick. Um, and you can still open the rear window, obviously. Um, Obviously, it uh, kind of goes through the... Oh, they fixed it. When they first did it, it would uh, go right through the screen, so they shifted it. Or they updated it, so it wouldn't... That's cool. Good on you guys for doing that. Um, <coughs> so basically, um, and then... Grab lock, that's the spin, I believe. Okay, so like I said, this is a skitter. You have to switch to, yep, yeah, switch to uh, control group two. And then you've got all your normal movements, your left, right, up, down, R1, up, down. Left, right, you've got some extension on there. Um, and then if I correct, you've got Okay, uh, crab lock. L1 and left on the D-pad turns that off so that this will actually, you can spin it. It's for, obviously for skidding. So, and then L1, R1, up and down, opens and closes the claw, like, like any crane attachment, you know. Um, but basically you grab the log and then you can turn the crab lock off. And so if you're driving around or whatever, it doesn't move as much. Oh, let's see, still does it a little bit, but I think that's because of the weight. But this thing is awesome. So, like I said, you want a skitter vehicle, a skitter tractor. And you don't want to spend a fortune on the uh, big uh, Ponzi stuff. There you go, right there. JCB Fast Track 4220 Pack <coughs> by HR Forced and. 
far as Zigbao and Rick Black Label TWD modding. Awesome, awesome mod. And that's it for my seven. I do have an honorable mention, and that would be this guy right over here. This is the Fent 714-724 Vario S4 by Lucas2002, Danny86, Timox, LS, Contacts, and Gamer8250. Quite a project. Um, awesome mid-range. I like the Fents. I've been getting into them a lot lately, too. This one's got a nifty trick up its sleeve. So we'll look at it in, and there's a 512-516 S4 that's also by them. Um, you should definitely go check these out. Uh, you got your rim color, a few different ones. Main color, a few different ones. Design color is... One, I don't know what the design color is. Go me. <laughs> Jesus. Um... I don't remember. Alright, so you get Trailborgs, Michelin, Midas, Nokians, Trailborgs, Standard, Wheel Weights, Narrows, Rear Twins, Twins all the way around, back to Standard. Michelin, you got Standard, Wheel Weights, Wides, Wheel Broad, so you get a kind of a super wide. That's another reason I like this one. Um, and then Wides and Weights, back to Standard, Midas, Standard, Wheel Weights, and that's it for Midas. Design, you got normal chrome exhaust trim, design line, changes the uh, grill mesh coloring and everything. And then back to normal, uh, one rule is your, <coughs> your beacon lights. So you got left, right, both, none. And then front window. This is something I don't remember being in there back because I used this one on a map a couple years ago or definitely over a year ago and they added openable front window um, and then you got your 714 at 150 horsepower 716 at 171 718 at 188 720 at 209 722 at 228 724 at 246 and that's it so 246 a um, little expensive but uh, it's a really good tractor uh, and then you get power design changes uh, puts a decal on the power plus and changes your lights profi gives you better mirrors profi plus uh, puts a little decal on that door yeah um, black lights what in the world see and I didn't even see this option black lights that's awesome okay so you can have black lights too. Uh, front loader. Yes, stole, aloe, no. And then this one up here is a string holder. I don't know what that is. I haven't tried it. Um, like I said, it's awesome. If you like Fent, it's definitely check it out. You got your back window, your front window, which I always love seeing the front windows being able to be opened, you know, because you got. You know, on every, just about every tractor, you've got the, you know, the pistons and the hinges and everything, and it's just cool to have them actually open. Um, this one opens right up too. And um, all the gauges work. Backlight tells you where you're going forward, reverse. Indicators. Um, I know I did not. Oh, down there you can see the uh, beacons are on on the little bottom right. Um, I know I haven't done that with most of these, so I apologize for not showing off interior lighting and stuff. Um, I actually did that by accident, but hey, whatever. So, Fent Vario 714-720, Fent 714-724 Vario. S4 by Lucas2002, Danny86, Timox LS, Contacts, and Gamer8250. And like I said, they also have the Fent 514-518, I think it's called. Um, but it's by the same guys, 
it's got the same, you know, configuration, same front window movement, all that stuff, if you like, you know, all your stuff to open. Um, but yeah, great mod. So, that's my top seven and honorable mention. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you on the next one, where we'll be doing top seven large tractors. I'm going to warn you now, it's probably going to be more than seven. <laughs> Alright guys, take care. I'll see you on the flip side.